Hey, I'm David Diggs. I'm Rafael Casal. We're here with a movie called Blind Spot. Really good movie. Really Solid good stuff. movie. It's In wrong. theaters, July 20th and the 27th. When we started writing it, one of the catalysts was the Oscar Grant shooting at Fruitvale Station in Oakland. A highly televised case in the Bay Area. Because there hadn't been a lot of them. Now is what happens when a country doesn't deal with the issues that it has. That the conversation sort of gets to a point of exhaustion where we don't come out and protest unless we actually think there's a chance that it might move the needle. The thing that comes to head with our film is the catalyst moment is a shooting that it isn't the perfect marketable police shooting. And really the film went from becoming about outrage to becoming about silence. But how does it wear on the body when you witness that level of violence if you're black and on probation in Oakland and you're under the same circumstances as the person who got killed? There is a feeling that I think every person of color feels in this country. I think every poor person in this country feels to some extent. I think any marginalized group, women, where somehow your body is worth less than anybody else's. There's a real fear associated with that and I think Colin being on probation leads him to be grappling with things in this particular way that feel stifling, they feel heavy. I'm personally more interested in those conversations between people who are seemingly similar. I would argue that Miles and Colin are incredibly similar. At a certain point, right before this movie, they reacted to situations exactly the same, right? They functioned within the same context. They have all the same friends. They grew up in the same neighborhood. They probably helped each other survive. We're tracking this friendship, really. That's what the story is about. And in order for their friendship to continue, and to continue in the way that they've always done, by finding the humor and, and looking for the joke and being supportive in each other that way, because that's the way we know how. The beauty of showing the duality of comedy and drama, that's the currency of, of people in any sort of struggle and people in an oppressed group in this country, is to find the coping mechanism so that you can drive off into the sunset at the end of a story. I don't think anyone wants to leave a theater holding their breath. You have to let people exhale. I love the idea of a, of a country that's a more active approach to finding the empathy across the lane. I don't think that we were trying to prescribe an outcome that, that led you to believe one thing or another. It's gonna sort of depend on where your, your point of entry is and in the discussions you have with your friends or your neighbors afterwards. There is an advocacy for empathy in the film, I think. So if there's anything that the film is arguing for, it's for this idea that you probably have blind spots no matter who you are, and it is worth investigating them. <laughs>